Hi, I'm Alex Grieve, better known as IB Crazy. I'm Mark Ashton, M. Ashton1138. And you might have seen an earlier video where we took the, the uh, Kinex Pro site and we took it out 4.1 kilometers. But you see, that was open line of sight. So now we're gonna go try that. So with my lack of multi-rotor skills, I'm going to attempt to put my Y6 through those trees. Fine. Really? Yep. Getting uh -oh. wet as hell. Oh shit. <laughs> well, All right, so uh, Mark's backyard was not thick enough, despite the fact that I couldn't fly a multi rotor through it. So, uh, so this is a little bit easier on my piloting skills. You know, I could fly around an open area and put a house between me and right. the receiver. I do that all the time. But the cool thing is, is if it holds on here, that means you can fly inside, in and out of parking garages without even standing inside. Right. Means flying, you know, through your neighborhood, mm -hmm. behind houses and that kind of stuff. So that's what we're going for. Because that's one thing FPV really can't do very well is get behind buildings and that kind of stuff. Right. All right, so there's pretty bad pixelization. Please don't go in the neighbor's yard. There you go, get out of there. Okay, so that's really bad. I wouldn't want to be flying that. Gone! It's back! It's been pixelating the whole time. So, well, then let's try our array. We know our array got us from, what was it, 1.3 kilometers 1. to 0.1 something. Yeah, 1. Point, yeah, right, all the way out to 4.1. Yeah. So let's see like what the array point, does. It was like 1.19 and then and we yeah, went right. out to 2.5. Yeah. So Alex is going to take it and fly it out. So picture is roughly the same. Which there, he's uh, completely out of the beam width. He's over this direction. So this, it's there. It's not really flying. It's gone. I think if we turn the antenna the other way, though, we'll probably get it. Truck in the dry in the road. All right, so that just clean right on up. Okay, so our array that got us the 2.5 kilometers on that setting, it just didn't cut the mustard. No, it wasn't, wasn't really any better than, than stock. I think you're getting some actual multi-path issues, not only, never mind the fact that we've you know, violated it. For yeah, well, so uh, now we've got a system. Hopefully this will do better. This is uh, uh, something new we're working on. You can see slightly different antennas. Uh, a little different than what you're used to, and it's a different array out Andy's there. It's going to be out of the beam over here to the left side of the house there. Oh, much cleaner from in front of the house. All right, so we're out of the beam. We know we're out of the beam here. Signal's getting weak. It's it's not flyable. No. Nah. That's flyable. Yeah. Right. Now bear in mind, he is actually gonna be way off center. All right, we're gone. All right, so he just crossed the wood line, a house, or excuse me, not the house, but the uh, hill. Uh, we've got something back. It's not flyable though. There we go, flyable. Right. Yeah. Well, a little before that. But, um, it's crystal clear out front, though. Yo, 
All right, so you can see a loss in video quality. It's not holding? Yeah. It's gone. All right, hold where you're at. Whoops. Hold where you're at. I want to turn the array that direction. All right, so we're pointing out directly at it now. Let's see what we get. Oh yeah, much better. I mean, it's pixelating. But you're almost to the next road. All right, go on. Yeah, just don't cross that tree line. Yeah, I mean, it's pixelated, but you can definitely fly it. That's incredible. Oh, it looks like we've got a new product. I mean, I, I guess I'm going to go back and review the uh, the video shot here. I didn't mm -hmm. witness a test, but. Uh, I'm happy. I'm yeah, happy. I mean, it, it definitely, it definitely, the upgrade works. You got some work to do, though. I, I know. Don't remind <laughs> me. So with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, more testing will go. I'm, I'm enjoying this. Uh, yeah. It's proving how bad I am at flying a multi rotor. So, um, granted, I haven't flown that Y6 in a while. Now, honestly, this is the most fun I've had testing an actual video system in a while. Yeah. Um, the fact that, that this thing is, is actually performing really well. Yeah. So, I, it, it shocks me. There Again, like I said in the last video, there's things that I would like to see improved. Yeah. Uh, but if we can improve upon them by the, you know, the majority of those issues just by changing out antennas, again, here we are. But you know what, you know what I really like about this? Think about it like this. We punched through the house in impunity. We ran, ran up through, over the hill. Yeah. TV's inside where most of those big screens are. Right, now you can fly from your house. Yeah. <laughs> fly from indoors. Isn't that what right. we want to do? On your HDTV. Yeah, exactly. Which is cool. So, like, cool so well. in the heat of the Florida summer, <laughs> or in the middle of the ice cold winter. Up there in Canada, guys. Yeah, right. You fly from inside. Yeah. So that's the real benefit of this. Yeah, yeah, that just dawned some, on me. Yeah, there's going to be some really neat things that we can do with this. All right. All right. So one more test to go, guys. And... Uh, I'll be honest with you, this, this system is impressing me. I'm getting excited. I'm really getting excited. I'm excited about the future. I really yeah. am. The future FPV looks really bright. Yeah, it does now. Yeah. So with that, guys, as always, keep flying.